and everybody. Welcome to St. Teresa Catholic Church. Today, my staff and myself will be doing a recording here of the Way of the Cross, but this time it's going to be not the usual one. This was created by a mother who happens to have a son who's a priest, and, and it's called the Way of the Cross during the pandemic of the COVID-19 coronavirus. And so we hope and pray that this way of the cross can help us carry our crosses, as many of us have lost loved ones. Many of us are very perhaps sick, and many of us need a lot of consolation and also healing. So we pray that as we do this station on the cross, that Lord may give us the strength and the courage to continue walking toward heaven. So I invite you now to please begin with me in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, we offer our prayers to you today for our world, our country, our state, and our local community, especially here in San Benito. As we meditate on your sacred passion, may we take the pain and needs of all humanity and pray through your suffering for your creation, your people whom you love. In your precious name we pray, amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. Lord, you were held captive and given a death sentence. This was truly undeserved, but nonetheless, it was still carried out, even though you were innocent. There are thousands upon thousands in our world today who have been kept, held captive, not knowing where their fate, fate will be. People on cruise ships, hotels, cities, neighborhoods, those moved to military containment, people confined to their own homes and those in isolation. Especially we pray for the immigrants, Lord, who are held captive at this moment. There are also innocent victims, victims of disease that cannot be seen, tasted, or felt. We are also, also pray for those in jails and prisons, immigration holy, holding areas, and those who work there so that everyone's health is protected. We pray for them. Allow them to feel your presence. Watch over them, Holy Spirit. Give them peace.
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Behold, behold, the word of the cross on which is hung our salvation oh come oh come adore the second station no, oh, the second station Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, you were given a cross, a heavy load filled with the pain, death, and suffering of all humanity. The separation of our lives from yours through sin must have been a pain almost too heavy to bear. Was the separation, death, and sickness the world feels now from this virus a part of the cross you carried? May we depend on your love and your carrying of the cross to carry us through these times of the unknown. Watch over us. Holy Spirit, show us how to accept the cross of this pandemic and move forward. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive, and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners. sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Behold, behold, the word of the cross on which is hung our salvation. O oh, come, let us adore. The third station. Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, you fell underneath the burden of the cross and the pain of your wounds. The road was not an easy path, and all of that brought you unexpectedly to your knees. This coronavirus was unexpected and has brought our world, our nation, our community to its knees in trying to fight the invisible, the disease that is not always the same from person to person. Country after country is falling, but just as you did not give up, neither does humanity that you created. Watch over us. Holy Spirit, with your help, may the world be given the wisdom to stand strong against this disease. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead us not... O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead our souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Behold, behold, the wood of the cross on which is hung our salvation. Oh, come, let us adore. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Lord, your mother loved you, and you loved her. Meeting her, when you were so fragile and so worn had to be difficult. May all families in our world, in our nation, in our community come together and bond and help each other in this time of trial. May the time we are together in our homes be considered a blessing so that we can get to know each other and care for each other in a more complete and loving way. Watch over us. Holy Spirit, bind us tighter and help us to feel comfortable with each other again. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary. 
full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is thy fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As now and ever shall be, we're without end. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Behold, behold the word of the cross. On which is hung our salvation. O oh, come, let us adore. The fifth station Simon helps carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because of your holy you cross, 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 you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. Lord, the cross was heavy, and you were slowly slowing down. Simon was told to help you, and you humbly accepted his help. We know in this time of pandemic, each country is testing and working hard to fight the virus, to heal its citizens, and to find a vaccine or medication that will help. We pray for those in the World Health Organization, Centers for Disease Control, our president and all elected officials to make wise decisions to benefit all. May the government leaders and medical teams of all the world's nations be willing and able to share information with each other so that together, with the guidance of your Holy Spirit, we come to know, know what works and how to safely handle this cross of illness. Watch over them. Through their service, may they bring healing. Holy Spirit, guide them. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we have to forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven. Especially those who must be of thy mercy. Behold, behold the word of the cross on which is our salvation. Let us adore. The sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, your, by holy your holy cross, cross you have the redeemed world. the world. Lord, blood, sweat, and dirt covered your face and eyes, 
and it was becoming difficult to see where you were going. When your face was wiped with gentleness and out of love and care, you had a small moment of relief. We look for ways to relieve anxiety and fear in all people and for ways to protect and send information without panic and anger. We hold in prayer all of our clergy who meet the sick daily and pray and anoint them, keep them safe. We pray for the medical community that cares for the sick and puts in endless and often thankless hours of vigilance. Keep them safe and give them wisdom. May each country's attempt to curb the growth of the virus be lessons for the world community. Watch over us. Holy Spirit, help us to trust and not be filled with fear. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Behold, behold, the word of the cross on which is hung our salvation O oh, come let us The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross have redeemed the world. Lord, Weakness again overcomes you and you fall under the weight of a cross that you bore on our behalf. We pray in respect to the weakness of our health care and governmental systems and the ability to fight this unknown entity of the coronavirus. We have never experienced something like this and we need your help in combating it. We are stronger when we are unified rather than fighting from within over policies and procedures. Help us to identify our weaknesses and repair them and work together for the good of all humanity. Watch over us. Unite us. Holy Spirit, 
inspire us to set aside differences and help us rise to the occasion to do your work here on earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Here for our sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. O oh, my glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, where without end. Oh, amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Bless the most golden Jesus. Especially for those who are most in need of thy mercy. Behold, behold, the word of the cross. Come, which is hung, our salvation. Oh, come, let us adore. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have have redeemed redeemed the world. world. Lord, some of your friends were reaching out to you in your greatest time of need. In these challenging times, we see instances of family and friends helping one another. We see friends and strangers alike taking it upon themselves to feed children who will not eat due to school closures by providing lunches for them. We see medical professionals putting themselves on the line every day taking care of the sick often not knowing if the illness that is being presented is serious or or the common cold. We hold in prayer all those in our town who are concerned for their loved ones and do anything they can to protect them. Watch over them. Encourage them. Holy Spirit, Give them an understanding of hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Behold, behold the wood of the cross on which is hung our salvation oh come let us adore 
the ninth station. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, your pain from your head to your feet was burning and overwhelming. It took immense concentration to put one foot in front of the other. And your pain was so intense that you fell again. No one can imagine what you were going through. We have a hard time understanding that we are living in this day and age where a virus is making the world stand still. We pray for those in our world who are trying to take advantage of others by hoarding items or trying to sell needed medical items at outrageous prices. This instills panic and frustration and anger. Watch over us. Change hearts. Holy Spirit, convict their hearts so they stop unfair practices. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother God, pray for our sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Beginning is now, never shall be, or without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Behold, behold the wood of the cross on which is hung our salvation. O come, let us adore. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by the Holy Cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, when you were stripped of your clothing, you were mocked and debased. We have seen instances of those who are being mocked in profiting for this virus. We ask forgiveness for times we have been afraid of someone because of their culture, their ethnicity, their age, or their income level. We are all children, all your children, and we must treat one another with dignity and care. We pray for those in our world, country, and town who are some of the most vulnerable to this virus. Those who have underlining health concerns, the aged, and those with disabilities. Watch over them. Build them up. Holy Spirit, open our eyes to any treatment that is unfair and prejudicial, and give us courage 
to stand up for those in need. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Behold, behold, the word of the cross on which is hung our salvation oh come let us adore the eleventh station Jesus is nailed to the cross we adore you O Christ and we praise you because by your holy cross we have you redeemed have redeemed the world. the world Lord you were nailed to the cross and raised high for all to see and condemn your suffering and dying tore through your body with every breath you took. Your mother never left you, and a few of your friends stood by and held vigil for you. Even in our pain, you reached out in, to the thief next to you and assured him of salvation. We also seek assurance in this time. Some may feel afraid of a death of their comfort, Jobs are being affected. Life as we knew it weeks ago has changed all over the world. Help us to find assurance in you. You have promised that we are not alone. May all understand this and recognize your presence. Watch over all of them. Unite them. Holy Spirit, May they see Christ in each other. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for us in now the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, sins. Save, save us from, from the fires of hell, hell. lead all, all souls, souls into heaven, heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. mercy. Amen. Behold, behold the word of the cross on which is hung our salvation O oh, come let us adore The Twelfth Station 
Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your by holy, holy cross, cross you have redeemed, you have the, world. redeemed the world. Lord, your death was a pain-filled sacrifice. You died for each one of us, unselfish, humble, perfect, and complete was your surrender. Your death freed us from the pain of eternal separation from you. We pray for those in our world, nation, state, and community who have died from or will succumb to the coronavirus. We pray that all the souls of the faithful departed through your mercy and goodness be united with you. Holy Spirit, may they be at rest in the knowledge of their worth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of, God, of God, pray for, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, is now and ever shall be, world, world without end. end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls into heaven especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Behold, behold the hood of the cross on which is hung our salvation. O oh, come, let us adore. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O oh Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Lord, your body was removed from the cross, and your mother was there to accept your broken and lifeless body. Her grief, sorrow, and confusion may have been coupled with fear and anger. Yet she had hope. She knew you and she loved you and was filled with hope. She did not understand what the hope consisted of, but knew that you would not leave those you loved abandoned and alone. As people became sick with this unknown virus, we grieved for those who die. We too live in a time of sadness and confusion a time of fear and anger. We look to your mother, our blessed mother, as a model of hope in the face of the unknown. Watch over us. Mary, our mother, please pray for us. Holy Spirit, help us to find hope in the darkest of times because we know we are never abandoned especially during these times of great need. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for, pray for us, us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and ever shall be, world, world without end. Amen. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins. Save, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. Behold, behold the wood of the cross on which is hung our salvation O oh, come let us adore The fourteenth station Jesus is laid in the tomb we adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your, by your holy, holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. world. Lord, your body was put to rest in a new tomb given to your mother for your burial. This was the moment of complete separation for you and her. We pray for those in our world, nation, state, and local community who feel or will feel complete separation because of this virus. We must separate ourselves in social distancing. We separate ourselves from those who are sick. We stay in our homes, afraid to move out of our safe zones, and are being told to hunker down. Separation may be frightening and lonely, but it is also a blessed time for healing. We pray for those who have no place where they may be kept safe and cared for, those who are homeless. We pray for those who reside and work in shelters. And we pray for all those who feel complete separation in this world because of death. Holy Spirit, please make your presence known to us in a special way when we feel alone. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, 
especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Behold, behold, the word of the cross on which is hung our salvation. the 15th station, the resurrection. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross have redeemed the world. Lord, humanity could not imagine the joy and the wonder you were going to give us in your resurrection from the dead. You are a God of the unexpected. We could never, ever begin to foresee or imagine what you had in store for all people across the world and across all time. Your resurrection is the ultimate hope an ultimate healing, the ultimate salvation for all. May we turn to you, not only in this time of needs of the present, but also in the joy of the coming future when the cloud before us has been cleared. Help us then to have a better understanding of not only each other, but how to, how you guided, loved, healed, and journeyed with us in constant companionship, never leaving us and always hearing our prayers and cries. Your resurrection speaks of hope and what is yet to come. We pray for Pope Francis, our Bishop Daniel Flores, Mario Alberto Avila, all bishops, all our clergy, especially here in the Diocese of Brownsville, all in ministry for our parishes, and all who walk this journey of the unknown with us. May we unite in the near future to share in the wonder of your glory, shining through it all, and bring us to the other side. Watch over us, Holy Spirit. Enliven our faith and help us not give up. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. May give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. 
lead our souls into heaven. Blessed be those who are in mercy. Give the Thy mercy. Amen. Behold, behold the word of the cross, on which is hung our salvation. O oh, come, let us adore. Oh, come, let us adore. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We thank you so much for joining us. There's a beautiful way of the cross. I've never have heard anything like this before. Something new, and it's indeed so much needed during these difficult times that we're going through. We hope you prayed with us, and we're going to keep it there for a long time. You can go back every Friday if you want to and share with your family and your friends. The Lord be with you, and the Almighty God now bless all of you in the name of the Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Go in peace. Our way of the cross has ended. Thanks be to God.